You're making a big mistake. I'll ask again. What was it you were hoping to find? I'm not a thief. Tell that to the police. You were caught red-handed. Just like you've been. Someone... Someone said something to you. I can't answer that. Is this to do with Catherine? And the rest. Let's just say I know what you've been up to. She's told you, hasn't she? Afternoon, sir. Sergeant Hollins. What are you doing here? I... I I'm, I'm terribly sorry, officer. I've, I've made a dreadful mistake. Hollins, do you say? He's my dad. Does somebody want to tell me what's going on? I'd given Jack permission to look for something in my office, and I'd forgotten all about it. What with all the admissions this time of year, I'm... I'm really sorry to have wasted your time, Sergeant. That's OK, sir, as long as you're happy with that. We'll leave it. Jack, a word. Thanks, sir. What was all that about? Nothing. So why were you in his office? Just like he said, I had his permission. Yeah, I heard what he said. Listen, if this has got anything to do with that story you were banging on about... Dad, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Trust you. Now I know you're up to something. I'm investigating a story. If I happen to uncover things that people are trying to hide, well, that's their hard luck. Yeah, and if you break the law, it's yours. Taking ages. You can always sit here, have a lunch here. No, no I can't. Julius Panini will get cold. Hypothermia in Julius Panini. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thanks. <laughs> you, uh, you okay? No. You've, um, um. You, it, oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Carter, did I leave my pen here? Not that I've seen. Please, call me Hester. Maybe it's best not to be too familiar. Nonsense. Look, you've been working hard all day. You could do with a few minutes rest. Why do you feel so guilty? My behavior was unprofessional. You're the best tonic a patient could have. But you're not just any patient. My parents always taught me that I must be truthful and I... What? We have so many interests in common. I was... I... Yes? I feel so comfortable with you. I want to be with you. And that sounds so immature. I'm, I'm sorry, this must embarrass you. Not at all. I, I find your honesty touching. Cassandra, you must realise that in an environment like this, this sort of thing often happens. You think it's just a young girl's crush? No, of course not. I feel that we're soulmates. There, I've said it. Can you deny that you have feelings for me? She could give me a bed bath any day. Is that all you can think about? She wouldn't give you a second look in a million years. Protective, eh? Sorry. Life takes unexpected twists. Start at the beginning. What did you say? Be for dunce, more like. Hey, get off him! Coward! You all right? I think so. All I did was ask him if his parents had paid Quinn to get him on the course. You did what? Are you stupid or something? No, but he is. Left my bag in Quinn's office. And why didn't you tell me he was back before legging it? I, I, I tried, but it was too late. I, I hid and ran when his back was turned. What happened? He called the cops. My dad turned up. No! Did you get anything from Catherine's computer? Big fat nothing. You? Same. I'm gonna have to run it with what I've got. What? Some dodgy printouts? Not, not much by way of evidence, is it? You're sounding like a lawyer. What proof have you got that, that Quinn's taking bribes? Quinn's head of admissions. It was his file. It was on his desk. Why else would he be accepting students who'd failed their entry requirements? Money, cash, wonga. Why else? <sighs> it's not enough. It's have to be. You've got your mole on the inside. Use her. Catherine? Bit of sweet talking. Bit of the old Holland's charm. <laughs> Put it in your hands, mate. Nice. Oh! I 
have just made a complete fool of myself. It was all going so well, and then the moustache. It was awful. It was off before it was even on. I've only got myself to blame. I was trying to be all confident, and I just came across as a complete idiot. Funny, funny, ha, ha. Simon. Simon? Oh, forget it. She's a sweet girl, but I don't want to hurt her feelings. She's too young. She's old enough to know what she wants. She's my nurse. It's inappropriate. Well, a pretty young thing like that would Yeah, we know me. what you'd do. Look, some people are going to tut-tut about the age difference. She might get a slap on the wrist from Matron. Who cares? You're both single. You're not hurting anybody. And for some unfathomable reason, she seems to fancy you. So, you'd be mad to let us slip through your fingers. It wouldn't be right. So what? At our age, chance like that? Oh, um, I had a chat with Ravi. He's going to discharge you. I thought we'd agreed it would stay between us. It has. What's that boy looking for? How would I know? You were talking to him this morning. You sound jealous. I won't change my mind. Well, it'd be too late now, even if you did. Drink your coffee, Mr. Quinn, while it's still hot. And not too many biscuits. Your wife won't like it. You're enjoying this? Enjoying what, Mr. Quinn? What have you been saying? Nothing. Why would I? I'm sick of your nasty little... Leave her alone! Oh, look. It's Carl Woodward, Jr. He's found out about me talking to you. He's going to sap me. Catherine. You're making matters worse. Can't sack you for exposing him. I knew you told him. You vindicated him. Why wouldn't she? It was a moment's weakness. Weakness? What, taking bribes? For accepting students without sufficient academic qualifications? I call that greed. Bribes? Well, don't deny it. I've seen the evidence. And you've been messing about with this year's intake. I've seen the list on your computer. Catherine. Don't look at me. You've been accepting students who've had rubbish grades, and there can only be one reason, money. Judge, jury, and executioner. And on top of that, you're a bully. Prove to me you are not as stupid as you look, Mr. Hollins. Is my wife the next on your hit list? Please, Mr. Quinn, you're scaring me. What's this got to do with your wife? Are you two? Once. And only the once. And she has made me suffer ever since. You shouldn't have pretended you loved me then. I never said I loved you. Every day, she threatens to tell my wife. Even makes remarks in front of the other staff. But, but this... Are you saying she set you up? I have never accepted a student without the minimum entry requirements. But the file, your computer... I didn't catch him at it. I caught you at it. You're not that clever. You saw what I wanted you to see. What's your game? Last year, I let one student bypass the system. Well, the grateful parents gave me enough money to pay me rent for six months. Word got around and I couldn't refuse. You used me to frame Mr Quinn. It was easy. And if you think I'm going to admit to anything, you can think again. It's all been done on your computer and in your name. Catherine, please. It's payback time, Mr Quinn. I've got a witness. Oh. Well, you broke into your office and then you lied to a police officer about it. If I won't get away with this. Last year, I let one student bypass the system. Well, the grateful parents gave me enough money to pay me rent for six months. Thank you, Mr Hollins. Preston. Got your school then? Not the one I thought I had. Still a story. I had the wrong person. You could have ruined him. She took me for a ride. Lessons in life, love. Quinn would have been suspended wrongly, and I'd be thinking how clever I am, crowing about it. Jack the hack, it's pathetic. Don't be so hard on yourself. Hey, mate, I wouldn't hang around if I were you. Why, what's up? Dad! 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 Still got his fans then. 
What's your problem? You both think the same way. You like the same things. She even considers you to be a soulmate. You're gonna walk away from such a rare creature. It's a law. His name is Mr. Galliflakis. He's a new chief executive of the PCT. Mr. Galliflakis. Good morning. I mean, how can you look into an animal's eyes and then wantonly mutilate and murder it and kill it? Oh, my God, forgot if I let Daniel do it. And Doctors continues at the same time on Monday. Now, Gardener's World is on the way tonight at 8.30, but next tonight, current affairs from the heart of the BBC. It's The One Show. <laughs>